Hello everyone and welcome to this video about making a new environment for Scanner Studio using Unreal Engine. The first thing you have to do is to download and install the Epic Games Launcher. To download it, you can go on the page listed in the description below. After you have installed it, you have to connect to your account or create one. Once connected to your account, you can go in the library and install Unreal Engine. You can choose the install path and the options. We recommend you to keep the templates and the feature packs. You can now install the scanner Unreal Add-on. You can now open Unreal Engine from the Epic Games Launcher. You have to create a new project from the AV Simulation template. You can open the Plugins Manager by clicking on Edit and then on Plugins. And you can type Scanner in your search bar to check that Scanner Core, Scanner Image Sharing and Scanner RPC are activated. You can then create a new plugin that is a content-only plugin. Check that you see the folder of the plugin you just created in the content browser. If you don't see it, click on View Options on the bottom right corner and check the Show Plugin Content box. Create the plugin's hierarchy as follows. Scanner, Data, Terrain. It is now time to import assets from the Unreal Marketplace. Open the Epic Games Launcher and go to the Market tab. Search for the assets you need. After you have bought or claimed it if the asset is free, you can now add it to your project. Every asset used in the final scene has to be packed with the content plugin you created for this project. Just drag and drop the files you imported to the content plugin folder and click move. I will now be creating a copy of the main map used in this project. 
This map is called Bridge Meshes and contains only the blueprints representing the bridge. I am copying also these, blu these blueprints and we'll rename them just to keep in mind that this is only the road. After renaming them, I can open the blueprint and begin editing it so I can see only the road. As you can see on the left side in the components, we see a lot and a lot of elements. These elements we don't need for the exports in order to see only the road. So I'm selecting all the unnecessary elements. and deleting everything I don't need. As you can see, in the scene there is only the road now. I can compile now this blueprint, delete this script because the lamps are not available anymore, compile it and save it so I can have an export only from the road. I will do the same for the straight part of the bridge. So here I'm editing again the components of the blueprint, selecting everything I don't need. You can do this either by reading the labels or checking in the viewport, whatever you, you are selecting. As you can see, I have selected here everything unnecessary. I'm deleting everything that is unnecessary. There we go. And now I have two blueprints representing a curved road and a straight road, without the unnecessary elements of the bridge. I can now open the scene I have just copied. As you can see, we still have a bridge in there. But if we if we select in our world outliner the elements that are from the curved roads, I can replace them with the blueprints I have just created. Go into blueprints, just drag and drop the element into your scene so that the editor knows this element is present. And you can right select everything you want and let's hit right click and replace them. Right click on the level you want to export, then asset actions and then export. export the file as an OBJ file. The OBJ file scale is a hundred times bigger than an IVE file. You need to scale it down in order for the road to be aligned. In addition to that, Unreal Engine and Scanner Terrain mode coordinates are not the same. In Unreal, the x-axis is on the left, whereas in Scanner Terrain it is on the right. 
We recommend using a 3D modeling software such as Blender or 3ds Max to do these operations. After the file is exported and properly scaled and oriented, you will need to convert it to an IVE file. This can be done by using osgconf.exe. This executable can be found in Scanner Studio's installation path under bin x64 and is used in command line. You can check the documentation on, of this tool on opensceneGraph.org. We can now start creating our road into Scanner. Open Scanner Terrain Mode and create a new terrain. In the Selection tab, go to Current Subnetwork and check the 3D Terrain box. You will be asked to select the 3D file you want as a background to your terrain. Select the IVE file you have just created. You can place your logical road on it by aligning it to the existent marking. Create your profile according to the road and apply it to the terrain. You can now save your terrain. Create a scenario on your terrain and open your Unreal Engine Editor. Your terrain paths must be identical in your scanner config folder and in the content plugin folder in Unreal. In my case, you can see the comparison between the two paths. Open this level and press play in the Unreal editor. In scanner, start all the modules you need for your scenario and don't forget your renderer. Once the connection is established, you can start the simulation and it will play in the Unreal Editor. Congratulations! You have now made your own terrain from Unreal Marketplace usable in Scanner.